Hey guys, it is Mesh Yourself here. Today, we are checking out some horror story animations. We used to do these videos all the time back in the day. And you know what, guys? My favorite type of videos are watching scary videos just before I go to bed. So shout out to Wanzi Entertainment for supplying the animations. Oh, true Home Alone horror story animated. I'm 30 years old. And this story took place when I was 13. When I was 13. My mother was a single mom. And she had to work two jobs. Two jobs? She worked at a grocery store in the morning and a bar at night. Damn. All right. Shout out to all the moms working two jobs. <laughs> yes, queen. The subtitle say. Yes, queen. My mother was a single mom. My mother was a single mom. she had to mom. work two jobs. Two jobs. Single mom. She worked at a grocery store in the morning grocery store. and a bar at night. Bar at night. Okay. So I, I was you. home alone a lot, but it was okay because I was used to it. What? <laughs> I was home alone a lot. It's okay, though, because I, I was used to it. it. No one trusted me to be alone. Maybe I was like 10, maybe. I remember one time I was really young and my dad just left me in the car for like an hour. And I was so sad. So I was home alone a lot, but it was alone. okay because I was used to okay, it. Okay, all right. I could cook myself some dinner. Cook dinner? And walk back and forth to school. I was a... And? pretty responsible kid for my age <laughs> i could walk to and from school yeah I, w I was a pretty responsible kid for my age you know i was a i was pretty a responsible kid for my I age i was a pretty responsible one kid one night i was watching tv while eating ice cream <laughs> and some <laughs> i was pretty responsible one day i was eating ice cream on while watching tv <laughs> one night one night i was watching tv while eating ice cream uh oh and someone knocked at the front door <gasps> no Wondering who it could be if my friends never came out this late and my mom would always use her key to get in. Yeah, who's knocking? Don't open the door. I opened the door. And it was a man standing there with his hands in his pockets. Uh, uh, his po I said hello. Uh, he replied. His pockets. Hello, young lady. Uh, Are your parents home? Say yes. Say yes. Stupidly. No. I said no. 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 My mom isn't home right now. You have to come back tomorrow. He then said with a surprised smile on his face, Oh, you're all alone, huh? Yeah, uh, I said, uh, Yeah, I'm yeah, I am. Oh, she's such he an idiot. With, Why'd she say that? Okay, young lady. Have a nice night. <laughs> oh, no. Don't get into any trouble. No, he's going to bloody come back. He then walked the away door. and I closed the door. Lock the door, lock the door, lock he the door. He seemed friendly, but also weird at the same time. Oh, look at him. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, seriously though, the worst thing that can ruin your night is just hearing a knock on the door, okay? And you're like, wondering. who is this? I'm not expecting company. Especially seeing this weird, creepy man. If you're home alone, lock your damn door. And number two, don't even answer the door. I don't even care. So what? You, you came to my house. Big deal. You think I'm going to open the door for anyone? He seemed friendly, uh, but also weird at the same time. He did time. not seem friendly and weird. He is weird. He was a little funny looking though. <laughs> he did look funny. He was balding and had 70 styles glasses on uh, with a mustache and bags under his eyes like he never slept uh, about 10 minutes passed and there was another knock at the door no oh. i got up to answer it he came back but before i opened the door something told me to put the chain on put the chain on i don't know why but my gut told me to do that oh it was strange because we really didn't use the chain the gut feeling oh guys always listen to your gut feeling in those moments something told me to put the chain on i don't know why but my gut told me to my do that God told me to do that it put was strange because we really didn't use the chain how is but i'm glad i did because as soon as oh. i opened the door oh. it was pushed open. oh there he is oh it abruptly stopped by the chain. Uh, the chain stopped Before stopping Before I could even say or do anything, oh. I looked through the crack of the door to oh. see the same man again. Oh, my God. And he said in a startled voice, Oh, 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 oh hey there. Oh, hey there. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm okay. As he stuttered. <laughs> it was like he knew he failed getting inside the house. Yeah. And tried to play off this in any suspicion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> by speaking quickly and making it seem like he didn't just obviously try coming into the house. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. Yeah, oh, he said it perfectly. <laughs> uh, yeah, how do I explain this one? Trying to get into your house. Uh, I, I want to see if you're okay alone. It was like he knew he failed getting inside the house. You knew you failed. And tried to play off this in any suspicion. Yeah, stop trying by to play off. By speaking quickly and making it seem like he didn't just obviously try coming into the house. I know, right? I said, I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. And I shut the door. Oh, shut it, lock it. At that time, I didn't really understand the situation 
or the dangers of what just he had, happened. He had a knife? What? But still, I was a bit freaked out. Okay, he's gone, right? And wanted my mom to come home soon. Huh? Uh, an hour went by. An hour? And I was still thinking about what happened. So yeah. I started to watch a movie. Uh-oh. Trying to keep my mind occupied. Uh-oh. When I heard. Uh. Hey. Uh. Let me in quick. Uh. Uh. I gotta tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> no. This was the scariest situation I've ever been in in my life. Uh. It was the man once again. He was talking through the letterbox. Oh, no. I shouted, leave me alone. Leave me alone. The letter box closed. Then the man started banging on the front door, screaming, let me in, you little shit. <laughs> let me in, you little shit. <laughs> he went from, you know, I want to see if if you're doing okay. That's why I want to come in. To let me in, you little shit. <laughs> the letter box closed. Oh, man. Then this the man creepy guy, leave her door, alone. Screaming, let me in, you little shit. <laughs> while slamming the front door handle up and down, trying to get in. Whoa. I just stood back crying, praying he doesn't get in. Oh. He eventually gave up and left. Man. My mom came home about 30 minutes later. Oh. Just to find me crying. Oh. And I told her everything that happened. Poor girl. We told the police, but they never found this guy. Damn. I look back, and I think how grateful I am. Whoa. That I had the feeling to put the chain on the door. Yeah. The chain on the door. what that man would have done. Whoa. If he had managed to get in. Whoa. Whoa. You got saved. Oh, my God. But what if he came back for her? Oh. Okay, this is called True Childhood Horror Story Animated. The demons always come when you're a child. A scary true story about Bloody Mary? <gasps> Bloody Mary? One day, I was on my way back from a school party. Oh. I was with my friends. But please oh. keep in mind, I was only 20 years old. 20 years old, still we going to school parties? So we really didn't know where our Uber driver was taking us. Uh-oh. He took us through this road called Sonol uh -oh. in California. <gasps> Sonol? And everyone in the car knew this road had a very upsetting story behind it. Huh? We didn't care since we were all drunk and it was 3 a.m. What? The? We just wanted to go home. Go What's the at story? It what seemed like the end of the ride. The driver stopped at the side of the road and uh let in this girl. Oh, no. Don't let my girl. She sat in the back what? seat what? of the car. Listen, girl, this is an Uber pool. All right, this is my Uber. You can't just get in my Uber car. Uber driver, why are you letting this girl in? Wait. At what seemed like the end of the ride, is, the driver stopped at the side of the road is the girl and real? let in this girl. What? She sat in the back seat of the car. Who are you? She claimed her name was Mary. Mary? All of our hearts dropped when we saw she had a dress on. Oh. It was a white dress. She also claimed that her husband dumped her on her wedding night. What? She, she was just, she got dumped? I don't care. I'm not a taxi, all right? I don't care. This is my Uber. She also claimed that her husband dumped her I don't on care. her wedding night. Uh, do I care? I don't care. She said she was trying to find a ride for three hours, but she couldn't since oh. it was too dark outside. Oh. When what I the? got a good look at her, I was shaking. What the? Because she was tearing up blood. Oh no, oh no. She, I whispered to my good friend Dominic. I told him about the Bloody Mary story. She's a ghost. I told him that it took place on this very road and that the girl might be a ghost. Oh! Uh, right as I finished that sentence, Whoa! She looked at me through the rearview mirror oh, with her no. bright, white eyes and asked us if we were talking about her. <laughs> my heart dropped once again. Are we? No. We asked the guy to pull over, pull but over. he insisted on dropping us off at our location. Uh-oh. One of my female friends in the car started crying after Mary started reciting all of our names from the back of the car. What? She started saying her na their names. What the hell? How'd you know my name? Samantha. Huh? How do you know my name? Anthony. How do you know my name's Anthony? Shithead. It's pronounced Shafid. He insisted on dropping us off at our location. One of my female friends in the car started crying after Mary started reciting all of our names from the back of the car. We were scared because we didn't tell her our names. Yeah. Now everyone in the car was crying except for me. <laughs> yeah. It That's felt like we he, didn't have to, he didn't have to say except for me. <laughs> everyone in the car was crying except for me. All right. I want to make that very clear. <laughs> I mean, the girl was crying blood, but I ain't no pussy. Now everyone in the car was crying except for me. Now everyone, except for me. Okay. It felt like we were driving forever. Yeah. But it had only been 10 minutes. It's only been 10 minutes. <laughs> it got brighter out. Uh, and we realized that no one was in the back. Oh, uh, 
No one was in the back. <gasps> it was a night spirit that was there. A, ni a night spirit. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we clarified that one. It was a night spirit that night. was there. It was a night spirit. And it left because it was now morning. Oh, no, no, night spirit. The next morning. morning, I thought about what happened while I was taking a shower. Damn, as you do. When I looked in the mirror, oh, I saw a scratch on I my neck. I saw a scratch on my neck. Oh my, that's it. <laughs> So what he saw was real. Come on now. I don't know, guys. We are free to believe what we want to believe. But imagine you did have a soul and someone taking that soul early. Maybe you stay as a bloody ghost, okay? Like Bloody Mary, all right? Something terrible happened to Bloody Mary on her bloody wedding day, all right? Did she get bled out the eyes? Did someone take out her bloody eyes? That's why she's called Bloody Mary, because it's all those damn bloody eyes. <laughs> when I was eight years old, eight. I used to live in my grandma's house in Ecuador. Ecuador. Many of the neighbors would talk to my parents about seeing weird stuff in the house, like <gasps> shadows moving around the windows when we weren't home. Uh, the shadows. first thing that would come to our heads was that someone must have broken into the house, but nothing uh, would ever be missing. It's a demon. Of course, they didn't think that there was someone breaking in. They were sure that our house was haunted. Uh, Everyone even refused to come inside for parties or any other special occasion. What? Not they parties? told us to get a priest. Priest? And to get rid of any bad spirits. <laughs> we didn't take their warnings as something important because no. my parents don't believe in those kinds of things. But you should have done it anyway. Although I would hear someone going up the stairs at night. Our stairs were really old, so oh. they would make a loud sound when someone would step on them. Uh -oh. However, when I checked, uh. there was nothing. Uh oh. I would just run to my bed and cover my head with the sheets until I fell asleep. Oh no, that's too scary. One night, someone started knocking on the door really no. hard and screaming. Oh. We got really scared as it was 12.30 a.m. and everyone was asleep by then in our neighborhood. Everyone it heard it though. It was extremely rare that someone would be up at that time. Everyone heard my it. My dad took his shotgun Get his and shoddy. told my mom and me to stay in my room and not move. Uh-oh. Oh. I was scared for my dad's safety. Go with him. But I felt relieved when my dad said my neighbor's name. He oh. informed us that a water pipe had broke in our backyard and the water oh. was spraying his house and broke one of his windows. Oh, damn. He was nice about the situation. That and explains he even it. said he'd help us fix the pipe. But how did the My pipe randomly the break? As huh? the pipes were how does the pipe randomly break? We had to dig to see what was wrong and how we could fix it. Fix it, fix it. As we started digging, huh? they realized that they needed other materials uh, and they went to get it. Oh no, Leaving don't. me alone in the backyard. Leaving him alone? Don't leave him alone. There was barely any light back there. You left him alone? The only source of light we had was the moon oh, and no. one light post a block away from my house. Oh no, that's far. I was pissed off. <laughs> I mean, how could they leave an eight-year-old boy there by himself in the dark? Yeah, that's what I'm but saying. But I didn't say anything about it. Oh. About ten minutes had gone by since they left, and uh, I was wondering oh. what was taking them so long. You should have gone with it. They were only getting some materials after all. But, but as I was uh, going to go back inside, oh no. I saw something <gasps> moving really <gasps> fast at the corner of my what the, eye. What the hell is <laughs> I froze. I wanted to run, but I couldn't. Oh, oh. I wanted to scream, oh. but I couldn't. What the all I could do was move my oh. eyes. Oh, scream! I started to freak out, looking around to see what the hell was running around me. <laughs> I didn't see anything. What is that thing? It was as if there was nothing <laughs> there at all. But then I looked to my right, and I saw something that haunts <gasps> me to this very day. Oh my god! It was a demon, in my opinion. <laughs> it, it was, was a demon, demon, in my opinion. opinion. Oh my god, look at this, this demon! Day. It was a demon, in my opinion. In my opinion. It was so tall, around seven or eight feet tall. What the? It had long, skinny legs with a really buff body. Buff? It also had very long, spiral horns. It was a buff and demon. And his eyes shined in the dark. I Whoa. still couldn't move. The thing ran by me, looked at me, but it didn't do anything to me. Whoa. It just looked at me. Uh it could have been a goat or a sheep. I've never seen one so big or one that walks on two legs like a human. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not it a goat ran, or sheep. And I hid behind a big tree by my neighbor's house. Whoa, ninja demon. <sighs> Finally, I could move. Ah, fine. I yelled at the top of my lungs while crying hysterically. Oh. My dad came running with his shotgun in hand and asked me what was wrong. Damn. I explained what I saw to him, but he didn't believe me. No. Nor did my mom. No. But someone did. Uh, my neighbor told me that he thought nothing happened to me because what? I'm a kid. 
because I'm a kid. As time passed, I... No, come on. You gotta believe the kid. Always believe the kid. If my kid starts telling me... Brandon, who is that man over there? Timmy, what are you, what are you talking about? Brandon, there's a man outside the window. There's no man out there, Timmy. But I believe you, Timmy. I believe you, okay? We need to get the hell out of it, Timmy. He thought nothing happened to man. me because I'm a kid. Because I'm a kid. What? As time passed, I slowly got over it. You gotta believe the I kid. I moved from that house and moved to New York. My grandparents sold the house, and I left that experience in the past. Whoa. However, that's not where this story ends. What? Oh, it's not in where it ends? In my sophomore year in high school, I had a nightmare. No. The thing that I saw that night was in it this time. It came in his nightmare. I could only see its head as it was hiding behind the big tree. Oh. He said three words that'll haunt me until my time comes. What did he say? It said. What did he say? You can't hide. You can't hide. Oh. I woke up from my... Oh. <laughs> you can't hide. Oh. I woke oh. up from my nightmare and headed to school. Oh, poor kid. While in school, at around 12.30 p.m., there was an announcement. Uh-oh. A classmate of mine had been killed in front of my school by a car without brakes. No. I turned pale as I thought my nightmare may have something to do with the incident. Oh, damn. Maybe it it it, it was, you know. I, I do hear demons, you know. They need a sacrifice, you know. And that could have been you. But it was him. That kid could have been you. <laughs> While in school, at around 12.30 p.m., there was an announcement. A classmate of mine had been uh, killed in front of my school by a car without brakes. Wow. I turned pale as I thought my nightmare may have something to do with the incident. Whoa. I was scared and even went home early. Oh, you should have. I told my parents about it, but this time they took me to a priest and he <laughs> said he'd give me something in three days. Three days? Every single day Whoa. I had the same nightmare until my priest gave me a blessed cross. Whoa. And I haven't had any nightmares about the thing anymore. Whoa. However, every night I sleep with the covers over my head. <laughs> Call me a coward or anything you want, but the thing still hasn't left my mind. Those three words haunt me till this day. Yeah, you can't hide. Making me wonder when I will forget or move on from the thing. Oh! Oh, man, it's going to keep haunting you forever. Those damn demons. It followed him all the way from Ecuador. Guys, do you believe a place can be haunted? Okay, honestly, if a certain room, all right, if some messed up stuff, and I'm talking messed up stuff happened in that room, okay, it could, you never know what, 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 could leave behind, what, what I could leave behind. All right, this is called my ex-colleague tried to kill me. So not really a horror story. Back when I was 21 uh, years old, I was a strategic firearms commander. Um, this what? meant that I led a team into dangerous situations that oftentimes involves hostages or civilians who carried guns or other deadly weapons. Jeez. I had a second-in-command firearms commander working beside me. Oh, my God. His name was Callum. Callum. And he was my best friend. Oh, my God. I already don't trust Callum. It, uh, what kind of 21-year-old is like, you know, I want to shoot people in hostage negotiations? <laughs> you know I would be very worrisome um, of the people enrolling to do that, especially people called Callum. I had a second-in-command firearms commander working beside me. His name was Callum, oh, no. and he was my best friend. I don't trust we him. We always hung out outside of work. No. But while on duty, he would always joke around and make us crack a smile, even when we were dealing with pretty... <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Crack, crack a smile. smile. He would always joke around and make us crack a smile. Make us crack even a smile. Even when we were dealing with pretty distressful stuff. Whoa. We once had a case where a man had possession of a firearm, uh -oh. and we were assigned to take care of it. Oh. Uh -oh. Callum seemed particularly eager and jumped out of the van oh. before it even came to a full He's stop. He's eager! When the rest of the team reached the scene, the man was already shot. Oh! Callum still had the gun in his hand. Oh, Callum! Callum! Soon after, I asked Callum why he was so eager to do it. Why'd you do it? And then he said he had no specific reason. No reason? He was just excited. Excited? This isn't a game! Excited? He killed some guy. I was excited working in I was just excited. Stupid Callum. It's always Callum. And then he said he had no specific reason. No reason. He was just excited. He was just excited. No. Oh. I believed him because he was my best friend. What the hell? Later on, when I was looking at the man who was shot, I looked him up on social media and realized that he and Callum added each other on Facebook. What? Upon further investigation, I realized that there were thousands of messages sent between the two where Callum revealed sensitive information about several operations. Huh? 
I knew that he killed this man on purpose. Oh. But I had no way of proving it. Oh. He was taken to court and was sentenced to three years in jail for perverting the court of justice. Hell yeah, he got caught. I testified against him and yeah. was no longer his friend. Yeah, he's in jail. Celebrate. That's what this guy deserves. He was a rat for the police. He was telling his friend sensitive information. And then when he wanted to probably rat him out, he killed him. He killed his own guy. In jail for perverting the court of justice. I testified against him uh -huh. and was no longer his Good. friend. Good, get in jail. There. When I was 24 years old, I was still on the firearms team. Oh. All that happened with Callum was behind me, and good. I was happy with my life. Good, good. And one night I went home really late after work. Uh-oh. As I walked to my apartment, oh. I realized that it was trash. Oh. I called the police and they reported it, but... <laughs> There was not much they could do because I didn't have a CCTV. No! As I got into bed, I saw that there was a note on my bedside table. No. All it said was, oh, remember oh. me? <gasps> I instantly recognized Callum's handwriting. Oh. And now that he was out of prison, I thought that he would move on with his life. Oh no. I was so wrong. No. This was his revenge. Oh. The next day, I went to the underground parking lot and I saw that my windscreen was smashed. Oh, no. It was clear that he wasn't over me testifying against him. Soon after, I also saw him near my apartment. Oh. I ran after him, but Get he him. ignored me and ran away. Get him! I tried calling his old number, but it was no longer in service. What the? Then an envelope was sent through my door, and it contained hundreds of photos of me at work, home, and even out with my girlfriend at clubs and restaurants. He's stalking you! What the These hell? These were all taken very recently. Oh. The last one, though, was a picture of Callum and I from years ago. Oh. And on the other side, written with a big <laughs> red marker with the words, You're dead. You're dead. You're dead, bro. I reported this as stalking and yeah. hoped he would end up back in prison. Hopefully. The police had gone to his listed address, but there was no one there. Uh-oh. In fact, all of his bags were packed. Well, I knew he was still in the area somewhere, though. One I'm day I was by myself in an unmarked car, and oh, I no. saw this Toyota Yaris, and it was driving close behind me. Oh, no, it's it him. It was my gut instinct to get the plate number checked, and I was going to. But then I got a priority one announcement on the radio saying there was a crazy man <laughs> on a bus who had a knife and stabbed someone. What the hell? I turned on my sirens and blue lights and headed to the accident. What the hell? As I got on the bus, he was already arrested, Whoa. and the ambulance was already there as well. Oh, it's As I was UK. about to leave the bus, I heard a loud bang, oh. and a man on the bus fell down. Oh. He was shot through the window by a man who was wearing a black hoodie. No. He immediately ran. I ran out of the bus and went to the boot of my car. Whoa. I got my MP5 SF out, which <laughs> was a large rifle with sniper capabilities. Wow, nice. I ran after the suspect and radioed in. Don't kill him. They gave me an order of critical shot, which meant I could shoot to kill the suspect. What the hell? He ran through the Don't town center him. and went to the left. I was worried about public safety as he had a large rifle as well. Uh-oh. I realized instead of running after him, I needed to get on a roof and shoot down. What the hell? I went to this building that had views of the right and left. It took me five minutes, and I was worried that he would have run away by now. As I um. got to the roof, I turned my gun to the sniper level. <laughs> no, don't snipe him! I used the eyepiece to scan. Oh, the big bad right there. I saw a man in a black hoodie running. <laughs> I fired a shot. Oh. And he fell to the oh, ground. Oh, you shot him! By the time I got there, more armed policemen came to the area. I was shocked to see Callum. Oh, he Callum! Was the one who <laughs> what, did, what did the subtitle say? <laughs> he was a columnist. <laughs> Damn, he shot Callum, bro. Why did he have to shoot him? I mean, I get it. He tried to shoot you a second ago. <laughs> but you didn't have to shoot him. You could have got him down in jail, man. Callum should have let it go, realized his mistakes, but he wanted revenge. I fired a shot. Oh, I and fired he a fell shot. To the oh, ground. you shot him. By the time I Bro. got there, more armed policemen came to the area. Oh. I was shocked to see Callum. Yeah, oh, Callum he was the, the one who followed me in the car behind me, and that shot in the bus oh. was meant for me. Yep, it was meant for you. But he missed. He missed. Callum was dead. Oh. I felt sad, you but also him. relieved that this was all over. <laughs> the man <laughs> yeah, shot true. in the bus survived, and I was promoted for my diligent work. Oh, he survived. I'm still working in the force. Hell yeah, working in the police force still. Damn. All these police officers must have some crazy stories. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video there. That was kind of spooky, but then also that was kind of just, you know, a good story at the end. 
Uh, so I guess kind of, I kind of killed the mood. If you guys want me to make another horror story reaction video, be sure to leave a like. As soon as we hit 5,000 likes, I'll do that. Either way, though, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.